33 years ago, a door to American life was unlocked for millions. The Americans with Disabilities Act began a journey that has seen obstacle after obstacle removed for those with disabilities. And in 2023, there's a spot on the calendar to celebrate that freedom. 7 News reporter Colin Roos went to Easter Seals to see how Disability Pride Month is celebrating a life with dignity. Colin. Annalise, most of us don't think twice about the ramp leading up to any given building we walk in or the blue placard seen all throughout public life. But they're just two of the massive changes that three decades have brought us with one sign of the pen from the federal government. I had the chance to speak with a young woman whose ability differences aren't a roadblock, they're an on-ramp. Kelsey Weaver doesn't see her wheelchair as confining. Decked out in purple with the power to quickly turn and raise and recline the seat, it's her gateway to the world. She sees it as part of her identity, something she says many disabled people struggle with. I think this is why having things like disability pride is so important because number one, people with disabilities, we are the largest minority group um, in our nation. That's why she and Easter Seals are honoring all abilities during Disability Pride Month. In 1990, President George H.W. Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities, or ADA, into law which made public accommodations and employment protections required for 43 million citizens. It was a new era ushered in with Wheeling's help, as former Easter Seals executive director and polio survivor Rosemary Front helped form the guidelines. Rosemary would tell me when she first started this and she'd go to Pittsburgh, um, the big department store would have to take the doors off the hinges so she could get into the department store. Many of us don't have to think about curb cuts when we cross the street or the height of public toilets. Those may be commonplace in certain areas, but Weaver says she still encounters places that are off limits. Some local businesses and entities still aren't accessible, and it's frustrating because um, I believe we all have the right to go out in the community and be active in the community. And even well past the 1990s, legal hurdles aren't all resolved. Insurance coverage isn't always what it should be. And flying with a wheelchair is a problem with no easy resolution. I don't make you take off your legs just to fly, but then it's, you know, it will take probably at least four seats. But even with those oversights, the ADA has given the disabled a quality of life history has never seen before. Take time to remember that those in a wheelchair aren't restrained from enjoying life. It's never slowed Kelsey down. And her words of advocacy aren't confined to her work with Easter Seals. Her thoughts and experiences are also part of her blog. See her trials and triumphs at PowerfullyDisabled.com. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thanks, Colin. I